Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for today. Today is upgrade day. Uh, as many of you know, for the last two years, I've been running my CNC almost nonstop. I've been running the Next Wave Shark SD120, this little guy right here. Well, today we are upgrading. Uh, my friends over at Next Wave CNC have sent me out the HD520 right here, this big pallet. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it, so follow along. You can see I'm very excited to open this up. It was shipped via FedEx Freight, so I was super excited how it arrived. They called to make an appointment and showed up right up on time. First, I'll put aside the spindle box and then open up the box here on top. Look at that beautiful gantry. Ooh, stickers! As I said, this was shipped FedEx Freight, so it's really heavy. The gantry wasn't that heavy, but the bottom box is the aluminum T-Track base. This thing is huge, so I had to have my friend Travis come in and give me a hand getting it up on my bench. Inside the gantry box were these other little boxes. I opened them up and I could find the control box, all the wires, and the getting started manual. The manual for this product is really impressive. It's all color images and it walks you through step-by-step -step items. It also has QR codes for videos you can watch to get started. Installing the gantry was a hassle just by myself. I do recommend having another person to help you out. The next part of the build was easily my least favorite part of what is arguably the easiest CNC build on the market today. It involved opening up all the little clips here on the channel guide for the cables. Uh, it was a little bit frustrating, but I got it done pretty quickly. Again, this build is super simple. You can get it done by yourself easily in a day. I installed the water-cooled spindle and then opened up the clips on this track to put all the cables into, connected it and to get it ready for use. When I built this workbench, I built it for the size of the machine plus a few inches. I didn't plan on needing the space for the bucket for the water-cooled spindle, so I had to add this extra little shelf for the bucket. I really love how Next Wave hides all the cables using these tracks and then the tubes here, so it's an easy way for cable management, which I really enjoyed. Again, the manual for this product is so well written and everything is pre-labeled, it was super easy to set all the cables together on the control box to get it turned on and moving. However, once I started moving the spindle, I noticed an issue. I'm worried about that pinching, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this and I'm going to rotate the spindle so that these pieces are on the outside. I recorded that section, but since checking the manual, I realized that it did actually tell me how to set those cables, and I did it incorrectly putting the pump in the bucket and then filling up with a water and antifreeze mixture. Okay, well, outfit change. And that's because I ran into a problem. My controller box for this new spindle uh, was defective out of the box. So I talked to Next Wave, talked to Mike on the phone. He was fantastic. Overnighted me out a new box. So let's get this hooked up. Just to make sure this time I connected the control box before routing all the cables to make sure it worked. And sure enough, there it goes. It's working. Next, the coolest accessory for this product, the black MDF spoil board kit from Next Wave. This thing is awesome. Using the T-Track system, these pieces slide in and then get tightened into the bed. What's really cool about this, it allows you to put a clamp in between the spoil board to clamp down your workpiece. Next, I'm adding the magnetic dust boot. And finally, it's a quick leveling pass of the spoil board, and I'm off to the races. My initial thoughts of the HD520 from Next Wave is exactly what I expect from them. A beautiful machine that is easy to set up and is a workhorse in the shop. It is a great product, and you'll be happy with any purchase you make from Next Wave. Made in the USA, the Shark Series is the most accurate, durable, and reliable machines on the market today. It's such a beautiful machine, and I'm so thankful to have it as part of my shot. Again, thank you Next Wave for sending it out to me. Over the course of the next year, I'm going to be creating two videos a month showing you how to use your CNC and make beginner projects with it. If you want to follow along, there are four bits that you're going to need. The Next Wave Starter Kit, that's the Cadence Manufacturing Jenny Downtown Quarter Inch Bit, the Little B Bit, and the V60. Also, the, the Jenny bolt bed. I'll put links to these in the description along with a discount code for the bolt bed. Thanks guys so much. Subscribe if you're interested and we'll see you soon.